October Bible Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 44. Slander. Much of the book is to develop your moral code. Avoid using it to judge others. NPR 44.9. Be warned by the brotherhood of the wagging tongue. Take care to guard yours at all times. For an unguarded tongue runs to loose talk. The tongue of a man filled with potent drink is like a horse with the bit in its teeth. Be on guard when discussing the absent one, lest you do him wrong, for rarely is the absent one in the right. NPR 4410 Place not your ear at the hatchway, nor listen to the talk in council, that it may be repeated on the streets. Never collect with your ears in one man's home, and empty the catch through your mouth in another's. Verse 9, I think, should be understood as you are always on guard against making yourself look bad. Self-censorship. Accentuate the positive is what we're usually told. But you're confiding in someone else. The listener likely has a bias in your favor. You might not have intended to make someone seem guiltier, but by avoiding giving all of the information... Even the parts that look bad for you, you've created a distorted image that will become more distorted the more times it is told. I have had bad experiences in my life. Times that I have talked about, the other person is not there to defend themselves. And while I give my impression, I also attempt to look at it from the other point of view. Call out my own areas of failure. However, in doing so, could you be worsening the problem? The listener will be more convinced the other is completely wrong because you are trying to be fair. So, it's dangerous to talk of others when they are not around, no matter how careful you attempt to be. I always realized it, and I also needed to get the poison out of me by talking. All you can do is be aware and watchful. Pray what you need to do will not damage another.